Yo guys, what's up? Mushman Gecko here. Welcome to Minecraft 15W34B. This is the new snapshot uh, for er, the next snapshot in the Minecraft snapshot thingies for 1.9, and I'm so excited to show you guys. First thing we have here is it shows you what version your, your world is. It shows you a little picture of your world, and it shows you like everything that's activated and all that. It's pretty cool. So let's go in and let's begin the uh, the thing. Well, the first thing we have here are shields. Everyone loves the shields. So any wood, any type of wood, plus any wool, any color wool, but it has to all be the same color wool, along with an iron ingot on the right to create a shield. Next thing we have here are custom shields. And what we have is, uh, let's say you have a red banner and a red shield, that would create, like, a red shield. So, like, um, since I have my little pattern already on a red banner, and I put it with a red shield, it will create the red shield with my pattern. So, if you look at this, we can, like, swap it between it also. So, like, left, right. So, if I F5 myself see my little YouTube logo it's so cool so suave so um, go put this back so you cannot make these shields you cannot make cut custom shields unless you have the same colored banner with the same color shield next thing we have here is the lingering potion I personally really like this one what you're gonna have to do is take a uh, take a splash potion along with a dragon's breath potion which I'll show you how to do later and put it in the brewing stand and you will get a lingering potion so do you know how when the dragon does that breath and it like breathes down it like lingers around a bit and then it disappears after a while yeah that's what these potions do so you put the dragon breath at the top you put the splash potion at the bottom that villager is really annoying and yet you, you wait a few seconds it's going to create a, uh, a lingering potion so here we go lingering potion and then what this is, is that you throw it on the ground and then it stays there for a few seconds and it lingers so when you walk through it you get the effect so that's pretty cool so let me get myself some milk because I don't want particles throughout the entire video on me so that's pretty cool I really like this lingering potion it's really really cool it's gonna be really cool in like a survival situation or whatever like uh, let's say survival games and um someone chasing after you can throw down like a lingering potion of harming and they walk through it and they die so that would be pretty cool so next thing we have here are different command blocks which I personally really favor uh, the first thing we have here is our regular run-of-the-mill command block also now is the impulse block you click it it says the same thing as it's powered and the next thing we have here are chain command blocks so when you hit it it what it does is it says the first thing that this command block says and it chains through the different command block that's why it's called a chain so it goes this command block and this command block and this command block and now there's a directional system so it's going to go to the right and it's going to go this command block this command block and this command block so it's going to say subscribe to my version go one two three right cd so oh so subscribe to mushroom gecko uh one two three right c d so let me put this back because I did not mean to do that so say a or no one because I need this and uh, you guys probably saw like the conditional and unconditional I'll explain that there in a second and um, if we change this and since it's directional now we go this way this way come on and we go this way thank you and and now it's going this way so it's going to go this way going to hit this chain and it's going to go direct itself that way so that's pretty cool so when we hit this lever oh what just happened oh because derp that's why I'm not really used to this directional thing it's going to be really hard to get used to say one and it's not going to interfere with any existing command block creation so depending on like the directional system if you have like repeaters or whatever going through command it's not going to interfere with any existing redstone creation from what the minecrafters at mojang said so now it's going this way so it says subscribe to rushing echo one two left a b so 
subscribe to Mesh can go one, two, three, left. A, B. So that's pretty cool. How about you shut up? Come on. That's pretty cool. So I really like this chain command block. And this is a repeat command block, but time set day. So when you hit it, it constantly repeats. So you don't need those pesky clocks anymore. So like, let's say, blah, blah, blah. you say all that. It's going to like go through really fast, like faster than any clock out there. So yeah, I really like this repeat command block. And I'm going to so kill him in a few seconds because he's really getting on my nerves. So yeah, these are the repeat and the chain and the impulse command blocks. So yeah, I really like these chain command blocks. I really like this repeat command block. And I love this old-fashioned command block. So, um, like I already talked about the new directional system. And I was telling you guys about the conditional and unconditional command blocks. So the conditional is, it can only be powered if the previous command block was executed correctly. So, um, let's say, like... Um, Oh yeah, by the way, the chain, the chain command blocks need to be powered in order to work. And if you look really closely, they actually have an animation now, so it's pretty cool. So, um, let's say uh, this is set to conditional. This command block has to be fired in order for this to work. So, since this one was fired, it successfully, number one, successfully fired. So, but if we did something like this... And we did that. It's not going to fire because this is unconditional. Or this is conditional, so it needs this one to fire correctly for this to work. So if we set this to unconditional, it would say this again. It's kind of confusing to, to understand, but after a while of getting to know it, it's going to be really easy and really cool to work around with. And it's going to make command block creation so much easier to work with. And you don't, and I like how you don't need repeaters anymore to make these command blocks work. So that is really, really cool. I really like these new command blocks, and I see a lot of potential for many new mini games and maps and all this other stuff. So next thing we have here is the Dragon Breath, of course. So I need to clear my inventory. The Dragon Breath you get by taking a glass bottle, going into the end, and then when the dragon does her little breathe fire down on the ground and it like lingers there you take the glass bottle you run through it and you collect it you right click on the breath and then you get the dragon breath which you can use for the lingering potions so that is really really cool now we have larger maps so um this map is now a one to four scale so for every one pixel it is four blocks and and uh we can make it all the way up to a scale of one uh, of, of a scale of uh, 1 to 16. So like a 1 to 16 scale. Now this one is a, should be 1 to 8, but I don't know what, yeah, so now it's 1 to 8, so for every one pixel it is 8 blocks, and if we set this down again, we do it around here, it is now a 1 to 16 scale map. So for every one pixel, it is eight or sixteen blocks so I really like these new larger uh, maps uh, it's gonna help people get around a lot easier and they're huge humongous worlds and all these builds maybe the Denmark of Minecraft alright so now we have shulker and minecarts finally I've been uh, ever since the shulkers came out I've been trying to get one of minecarts I even did the, the, um, the summon command with the shulker riding a minecart and it just did not work but now we finally have shulkers in minecart, and the cool thing is, you can jump on top of the shulkers. So like, you can show your friends by like thinking there's a block, or you can like make a mini game where you push the shulker and you have to like try to get across the ravine or something. And you can like ride the shulker across. That would be pretty cool. And a lot of cool potential for this new minecart shulker thing, like a turret that I'm trying to build over there. So, anyways, uh, along with this annoying pesky villager now. Alright, so look next to the right of my hotbar. You see a little sword flashing with a piece of blood coming off? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a cooldown thing now. So if we take a sword, like a diamond sword, it's going to have a very, very long cooldown. Uh, same with every other sword. The sword now all have cooldowns. So if you, like, you can't spam it anymore and kill someone instantly, you have to like, wait for it to cool down, hit him, hit him, and then, like, so watch. Boom. Boom. 
boom. So yeah, it took three hits to kill him. So let me get another villager egg. And as um as opposed to me hitting him like spamming like this, you can't instantly kill him anymore like this. Like you have to wait and then kill him. Oh so, yeah, that's a that's a really cool feature. Like I, I I like that where you can no longer spam kill anyone in the survival games. And if you want to turn that off, all you need to do is go to the video settings and right here to attack indicator, you can set it to off, crosshair, or hot bar. You just saw the hot bar, so the crosshair looks like this. So if you look at my crosshair, you can see like a little gray sword fill up and stuff. So uh, yeah, I really like this new 15W34B snapshot. Uh, I see a lot of potential for the snapshot, like like the command blocks. I'm really excited for those. The shields are really cool, and I uh, and I think they finally, with the diamond pickaxe, they they finally just you can you can finally. Oh, hang on, wait, why is it not working? That is weird, because I I thought you could like do dual. dual like, can you, like, not dual pickaxes now? Huh, apparently not. I mean, like, I thought you could, like, dual pickaxes, but no. That's, that's sad. You can't dual pickaxes. What if I go into survival mode away from the shulker? Hang on, hold up. Let me go over here and let me test that out, because that would be interesting. Slash game mode survival. Yeah, like you can't, you, you can't, like, you, you can't do a dual pickaxe. I'm sad. And I don't think there's anything in the control for it. Yeah, there's, there's nothing in here for it. There's only thing for swapping hands. There's no, like, attack with offhand, which I'm sad. Mushroom Gecko's sad. Alright, anyways, uh, that was... Minecraft snapshot 15w34b really cool snapshot. I really really like it um, Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below uh, What are you guys gonna do in this new snapshot? What do you guys think about the shield about the new command blocks new potions the new uh, attacking? Uh, system now I really like it personally huge game changer for Minecraft many Like many new potentials opened up or, yeah, many new door potentials, all of that. Pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Nice snapshot, guys. So, live with a plus and a celia mushroom. Have a good time, Clyde Geckos, and keep those jump shaman. Gecko out. Boop. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.